A Muslim man was lynched by a Hindu militant mob over suspicion of cattle theft in Assam state. The mob also severely injured two other Muslim men and pelted stones at police who arrived on the scene. Indian Home Minister Amit Shah claimed that a viral video of sexual violence in Manipur state, which showed two tribal women being paraded naked and molested, was leaked as a conspiracy to embarrass the Modi government on the eve of the monsoon session of parliament. His claim shows utter disregard for the ongoing violence against Christian tribals in Manipur. So, in Uttarakhand state, a mob of Hindu extremists brutally beat a young Muslim man for having an interfaith relationship. In a video of the assault, the man can be seen pleading with his attackers as they repeatedly strike his face. The disturbing trend of violence against the Gurkhi Christian community in Manipur must stop. Indian Americans in three U.S. states held protests against Kuki violence in Manipur. Protests and a candlelight vigil were held in New Jersey, California, and Massachusetts. More protests across the U.S. have been planned for the weekend. During an event organized by Hindu supremacists in BJP-ruled Haryana state, Hindu extremists, including a minor girl, delivered hate speeches. The speakers called on Hindus to abandon Gandhi's commitment to nonviolence and instead inflict violence on minorities. An extremist monk, Dhirendra Shastri, called on Hindus to convert India from a secular democracy into a Hindu nation during a packed event in London. His hateful remarks were met with cheers from the crowd of British Hindus. Hindu militants from the Bajrang Dal illegally imposed a ban on the sale of meat on Tuesdays in Delhi. In a video, the militants forced a Muslim shop owner to throw meat from his store onto the streets to feed the dogs. In the capital city of Delhi, members of the Hindu militant group Bajrang Dal accused a Muslim juice seller of spit jihad a far-right conspiracy theory used to justify anti-Muslim hate and harassment. The militants also threatened to shut down other Muslim-owned stores in the area.